Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up an RTL SDR dongle in 2020 uh, on Windows 10 using the HD SDR software. So this one here is my current setup. So I got a Windows 10 equipped laptop uh, with a USB uh, RTL SDR dongle connected to it. Um, so I'm going to show you this brief tutorial and then we're going to see a couple of examples of how to um, adjust the settings of HDSDR and which settings I'm currently using to get uh, a good receiving quality and a good communication um, quality. So first thing first, um, let's head over to the hdsdr.de webpage, which I'm also going to link in the description and download the HDSDR version 2.80 installer. So this is the installer of the HDSDR software. All you need to do is just download it, uh, install it, and then um, you're going to be able to uh, open the HDSDR software correctly. Another very important thing which we got to do is getting the drivers. So this was something I really quite struggled with. Um, um, I tried to use the Zedig uh, software for setting up the USB dongle um, hardware, uh, but uh, eventually the easiest solution was just heading over to the hardware page. As you can see, among the devices supported are uh, my, is my dongle also, which is the super cheap version, but uh, provides a sufficient uh, frequency range which allows me to intercept aircraft and airport communication and, a uh, and helicopter communications as well, as I'm going to show you in a little while. So all we need to do now is just heading over to the uh, USB dongle, which I currently have, which is the RTL STR RTL2832 USB dongle. Hit on the DLL uh, page. It's going to tell you that this um, software, this, prog this file it may harm your computer, but we're still going to save it. So after I've saved it, all, I, all we need to do is copy it over to the installation directory. So as you can see, I already did that. Uh, so from the downloads folder, you need to um, copy it over to the HDSDR folder, as I did over here. Alright, so now let's take a look at HDSDR and its settings, which we need to set uh, in order to be able to capture uh, aircraft, helicopter and control tower communication. So if we click on SDR device, we're indeed going to be able to see the device which has been set up correctly. However, a setting which uh, we need to uh, specify is that we want to uh, sample AM um, frequency radio. So we want to work with amplitude modulation, which is the type of communication which is used for long haul communication, so long range communication, such as in the case of airports, aircrafts and helicopters. It's very important to note that this type of communication is uh, not so sensible for what concerns impairments since it's transmitted over the air and over very long uh, ranges. So that is the type of communication which is used. So we're going to click here on AM, Amplitude Modulation. Another important setting which we need to pay attention to is the bandwidth. So a sampling rate of 96 um, kilohertz is indeed sufficient for human voice in this case. And for the output, it's very important that we set um, a sampling rate uh, which is uh, sufficient for the human voice. So the human voice actually spans from the 0 to the 20 kilohertz range. So according to the Nyquist theorem, we need to have a sampling rate which is twice as much as uh, the highest uh, possible frequency. So in this case, we're going to need at least a sampling rate of uh, 40 kilohertz. And the value which is the the value which is uh, a value which is greater than that uh, is fine. Right. So after 
correctly setting up HDSDR. Um, I've been looking for the frequency which the airport here in my area is using. I'm currently based in Trento. Uh, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at about four kilometers from the Trento airport, which is a very actually small, tiny airport in the Italian Alps. Um, there are no big uh, commercial flights. There are just very touristic, small aircrafts landing. And there is a, um, a base for helicopters for, for landing and for taking off. So the uh, frequency for the Trento Airport turns out to be 119.65 megahertz. So, th so this is the frequency which I'm gonna be using uh, in this video. Actually, I've been inspect inspecting with HDSTR and it turns out that the frequency is actually 119.64. So that was the proper frequency after some manual fine tuning. Great, so we've set up HDSTR correctly and now let's see it in action. I'm gonna show you first an example of, of uh, overhearing a helicopter. Uh, so the nice thing is that actually from my window, I'm able to actually see the helicopter and the aircrafts in the area and when the uh, communication is very strong, that means that the aircraft is indeed quite close to my area. So it's like at one or two kilometers line of sight from here. And the communication, the, the gain is indeed very strong, meaning that the communication quality is also going to be better. Whereas uh, when checking and overhearing the aircraft, uh, aircraft tower, well, the communication quality is not great. Um, probably we're gonna need to increase the gain to hear it better. But here you can see a couple of examples. Enjoy. Porterà November 1, bueno, uh, in, 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 in informazioni, eh, India Lima e anche Oscar in fondo. viene in salita a 3.500. Il traffico, il c'è di Alfa, bravo, bravo. A questo punto prosegue al November Eco, dove lascerò la zona, 3500 piedi. Qui potrà November Eco, 1, il c'è di Alfa, bravo, bravo.